alkanes are the simplest organic compounds as they contain only carbon-carbon single bonds and carbon-hydrogen bonds. Any substance that is identified to be an alkane will get the suffix ANE and be described by the general formula CNH2N plus 2. So the way that we would name an alkane is you start by identifying the longest chain in the molecule and here we can see that the longest chain in this molecule is made up of three carbons. The prefix for a compound containing three carbons is prop. And because we can now see that this compound contains only carbon-carbon single bonds and carbon-hydrogen single bonds, we know that it is an alkane and therefore gets the suffix ANE. So this compound is therefore named propane. We can see here that this compound contains three carbons and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hydrogens and therefore abides by the formula CNH2N plus 2. We can also draw this in condensed structural formula as CH3, CH2, CH3. We can do the same for this compound here, once again identifying the longest carbon chain where we can see that there are six carbons. The fact that there is a bend in the chain does not affect this, so we can see that there are five carbons in this longest chain which means that it gets the prefix pent. We can then see since there are only carbon-carbon single bonds and carbon-hydrogen bonds it is an alkane therefore gets the suffix ane and we can see that this is made up of five hydrogens excuse me five carbons and 12 hydrogens and the condensed structural formula for this would be CH3, CH2 CH2, CH2, CH3. This can sometimes be written as well as CH3, followed by 3 CH2. So by putting it in brackets here, we are abbreviating it and then followed at the end by a CH3. It's important to note here that we say that alkanes are saturated because each carbon has the maximum number of bonds with different atoms or we say it contains only single bonds.